Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're going to cover as usual the Bitcoin price and at the end we're also going to have a look into Ethereum. So let's start straight here into the four hour time frame because the sell signal from yesterday is right now playing out and we are about to approach our potential bounce target here right at the 20 moving average, the four hour time frame exact at $56,000. So as I told you also yesterday, my friends, uh, if we are dropping down towards this level and we're gonna have a nice bounce to the upside, Take it as a good long and buy opportunity if you think that we are about to head higher because after this pullback, the chances are very high that we could gear up to go and test the $61,000 target. We still, of course, have some warning signs in the bigger time frames that we could be about to form here a lower high in the bigger time frame and we could head lower. But if here we could get successfully a bounce right at this important moving average and, of course, also at the bottom of the EMA ribbons, then we should be good to go higher. So the good thing here in the four hour time frame is that currently we are potentially about to bounce here on an important moving average and also the RSI is coming down to test the 50 level. So if we are getting here another buy signal right here above the 50 level in the RSI, then I'm pretty confident that this could be a nice long entry and we should be gearing up again towards the $57,000 and then potentially even shoot higher towards our target here of around $61,000. Because also keep in mind that the CME is closed on Friday exactly here at $57,000. So wherever we are going during the weekend, most of the times we are retracing back where the CME is closed on Friday and that is exactly at around $57,300. And now let's go over into the daily time frame because today it's going to be very key that we're going to close above the 20 daily moving average. So yesterday we had a nice close above the 50 and 20 daily moving average. And that, of course, is what we want to see in order to have the chance here to push higher towards our target of $61,000 and then maybe even gear up towards even higher levels but if here we would top out and if here we would also start to lose the 20 daily moving average as a support and even worse are here the ema ribbons then in my opinion this lower high is potentially confirmed here and we should look to head lower potentially even to take out this low here of forty seven thousand dollars and that of course would mean that we are about to go lower and this correction phase is not over yet i told you that even though it looks very bullish here that we had now this successful bounce towards our target here between 57 to 61 thousand dollars we still have the risk here that we could create a lower high in the daily time frame and if we are getting rejected by the Keltner channels here right at the top at $58,700, then the chances are very high that we have now the Keltner channel as a resistance and we are about to potentially go lower, especially if we are falling again below the middle line, which is currently also here at around $56,000. So it's going to be very key that we are able to maintain the $56,000 as a support. Any kind of daily closes below this important price level could be a huge warning sign that we are about to go lower. And in that case, the first target, of course, would be here, this $52,500, the bottom of the Keltner channels. But then, in my opinion, we could even drop way lower and potentially also take out the lows that we created for now here at $47,000. So even though this bounce was very healthy, I'm still a bit concerned here that we could have this lower high in play here. And also this rejection that we have for now right at the top of the Keltner channels is still a warning sign for me. And that's why I'm still not opening up a long position here on Bybit. I'm just standing on the sideline because we have some warning signs, even though this push here towards 57 to 61K was expected. And of course, very bullish that we had this bounce. But now we have to see what will happen with the price if we are able to maintain the support or if we're going to head again lower. Because also in the RSI, you can see that we are coming to a very critical point. We are coming down to test the 50 level in the RSI. So here we're going to see if we're going to get a successful bounce to the upside that, in my opinion, will fire up the price 
price a lot and then potentially even go way higher than $61,000. And this is also what we need to see in order to head it again towards a new all time highs. Because if we're getting rejected here at 57 or latest at $61,000, this move could be denied and end up in a lower high. And then we should be prepared to see lower prices for Bitcoin, at least here in the short term before we gear up then again towards new all time highs and go back into our parabolic bull mode because keep in mind that the hash ribbons is still in miners capitulation phase so we have to wait until there we are getting a nice buy signal i think latest then we should be out of the woods and then we should gear up towards a new all-time highs and until we are getting there a buy signal in the hash ribbons it can take even up to one month so that means there is a very high chance that through the whole month of may we are just gonna go sideways here or maybe even drop a bit lower until then we gear up towards a new all-time highs if here we are not able to push higher than $61,000 in the next coming days. So what we want to see right now is a successful bounce and keep the price above the 20 daily moving average in order to go higher. Otherwise, I think we could be stuck here for a little while that we most likely gonna just go sideways or maybe even lower if here we are getting heavily rejected and the $56,000 level is going to be a very key important price level to hold in order to go sideways or maybe even higher if we're going to have daily closes or even worse or weekly closes below $56,000 then in my opinion we are most likely headed a bit lower before then we continue our parabolic bull run and also here in the weekly it's going to be very much important that we can close above the previous weekly open here at $56,000 similar like we also closed on the CME chart so today we're going to see this weekly close let's hope that we can close above $56,000 otherwise if we're going to have a weekly close that is lower than that the chances are very high that the correction is not over yet and we are about to head at least down towards the 20 weekly moving average at $46,000 to finally test this important moving average and then bounce from it and if we would lose here this important 20 weekly moving average then we have to face even lower prices even down towards $37,000 this is where exactly the nine monthly moving average is lining up and at the same time we also have the 200 daily moving average at this price level so it would make very much sense that if we would have the worst case scenario here that we would create a lower high in the daily time frame that we even could fall down towards the 200 daily moving average at $37,000 and here find a clear bottom and then gear up again towards a new all-time highs and continue our bull market because as i told you my friends in the monthly time frame we have a confirmed sell signals and usually in the past is always indicated that we at least have to go to retest here the nine or even 20 monthly moving average and i think this target here at the nine monthly moving average which also in the past acted always as a very strong support right here $37,000 is a very realistic target that could be tested before we had higher this bearish scenario would be only denied if we were able to push higher now and create new all-time highs without getting here a lower high in the daily time frame so that's why it's going to be very important what will happen in the next coming days and weeks here and now we can also have a look into ethereum because ethereum yesterday created another new all-time high we almost touched here the 1.6 fibonacci extension level from this correction that we had here and you can see that we came very very close to it we almost touched this three thousand dollars level we even had a daily close above this channel that we are in now since many days and weeks so unfortunately right now we are seeing a little uh, pullback most likely this could even take us down again towards the nine daily moving average at $2,650 but Ethereum is still looking extremely bullish and I'm still expecting here big pushes to the upside as long as we are maintaining here the nine daily moving average as a support right here at $2,650 so if you want to take a trade over on Bybit on Ethereum then make sure to wait until we're coming down to test the nine daily moving average here at $2,650 
if we're going to get a bounce here, then in my opinion, this would be a perfect long opportunity then to ride it up towards new all time highs because Ethereum is still looking extremely bullish in all time frames. Of course, we are still overbought and we could at any time have a bigger correction down to important moving averages. But since we are still in a very nice uptrend in all time frames, I still think that Ethereum has a lot of room left to the upside and we should be expecting here big continuations to the upside. But here for the lower time frames, if we're gonna get here another pullback down towards $2,650, take it as a good buy and long opportunity because Ethereum has still a lot of room left to the upside and I still expect here big continuations to the upside in the not so distant future. The only thing that could interrupt here these parabolic moves of Ethereum, in my opinion, would be if Bitcoin would create here a lower high and continue a massive correction here, sub 50k again. That of course could be a huge warning sign also for the altcoins, but as long as Bitcoin is going sideways or even have some attempts here to go higher, in my opinion, the altcoins will profit a lot from that and that's why we should be very, very bullish for many altcoins especially for Ethereum. So here I'm still expecting prices way above $3,000 in the not so distant future, especially if Bitcoin is able to maintain the 50K area and is not dropping lower again. So if you want to take a trade on Ethereum or Bitcoin, my friends, here with leverage over on Bybit or Femex, where you can do some nice gains even with smaller money, then use my invitation link that you find down below here in the description for Bybit. You can also get a $1,000 in bonus if you put a deposit of two Bitcoin if you open up a new account. Also check out all my other referral links down below here because with all of them you will get some extra money and some extra bonus so you can do some free trades. And also check out Bitscap because they are offering to our community the pro plan for 14 days completely for free. Here you can easily run trading bots on your existing exchanges so you can run them for example on Binance, Coinbase and so on and you can even do arbitrage there. So go and check it out for 14 days it's completely for free and if it's paying out for you because their trading bots are very profitable then you can upgrade to a monthly plan which is starting only for $19 a month. So usually you should get this money very easily and quickly back. So use the link in the video description and claim your 14 days completely for free for Bitscap. And with that said, guys, I'm going to wrap it up for now. A big shout out also to our great Discord trading chat. If you want to join our Discord community, make sure to use the invitation link that you find down below here in the description. Then you go here to read first and click on this thumbs up button to confirm that you're a human and not a bot. Like this you have free access to the trading chat and here is also the place where you can get access to my own indicator which is giving you buy and sell signals for bitcoin if you want to get access a small donation is needed so you have to contact me directly here on discord otherwise just get here a youtube membership so thank you again very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye